Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. My God, the 30 series on gaming laptop sucks. Um, I've got a very nice Asus ROG Strix SCAR 15 laptop with a Ryzen 7 5800H 8-core 16-thread Zen 3 45-watt TDP CPU and a RTX 3080 graphics chip in a laptop with a 300 hertz IPS panel. 300 hertz IPS panel on a what? A 3080? Which is really not a 3080. Oh, I don't say the quiet part out loud. You wouldn't want to spoil for everybody the fact that it runs like a 2070. Ian's here. Ian's here. How oh, did you like your Tim Tams? Which one's your favorite one so far? You have to open them all up and try them. You should do a video on those. <laughs> Let me put it this way. A desktop 3070 beats that 3080 in the laptop. Ay, 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 the closest ay. card I can compare the 3080 in the laptop to, and this is not some cheap junkie. This is, ASUS has several different variations of their laptops. The ASUS ROG Strix laptops are their mainstream mid-level models. Yep. The SCAR, S-C-A-R models, mm -hmm. is an addendum that's sort of their premium. The regular ROG Strix have a 144 hertz screen. The SCARs have a 300. That's a very nice screen. And the screen is gorgeous. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. It's a nice screen. The colors are good. The viewing angles are good. Keyboard's nice. Um, I will give it credit. It does not make as much noise under load as my Acer Predators do. It's got a good cooling solution. That is pretty loud. For as much heat as the Ryzen 5800H and the RTX 3080 make, it's remarkably well behaved, all things considered. However, holy smokes. The closest comparison I can give you is a desktop RTX 2070. 2070? To compare it against for that amount of money that's about how it performed i tested it on 15 games oh here we go ian says he's been offered an 11 980 hk 3080 laptop with 360 hertz panel an msi model need more time for these fun things the 360 hertz panel makes sense for esports gamers mm. um how fast do you think a Ryzen, um, Ian, I, 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 we're going we're gonna to make him guess. We're oh, going to put gonna him, him on the guess? spot. Okay. He's got his Tim Tams. He'll be fine. Fortnite. Fortnite. 1080p. 1080p. High detail. High detail. Ryzen 7 5800H. Yes. Okay. RTX 3080, 8 gigabyte in a laptop. Yes. How many frames per second do you think it averaged? <clears throat> but we're asking him, right? Yes. How many I... frames per second do you think it averaged? Uh, a 2070 on Fortnite. Uh, 75. What does he think? I don't know. I haven't heard it. It's catching up. I can fix that. I'm gonna. Do you have something to say over there? What would a 3060 laptop be equal to in a desktop? -wise? Don't have a 3060 laptop. I don't know. I almost died of all the shots and reminders of the C3. 180 frames a second, maybe 100, 120 frames a second. Not sure. I don't test it. <gasps> Is this not downloaded yet? Oh, for Pete's sakes. Opening oh. in six seconds. Five, Slack. three, two. Slack. I reckon 75. We've got 150, 120, 187, 160, 120. Come on, tech guy. Get your stuff together. I didn't have K-Lite Coded Pack installed on this. <sighs> Just Slack. Hard to find good help these days. <laughs> Ah, uh, Ian said he likes the double, the double, do you like the dark? 
This one? That's my favorite. And the orange. Oh, honey, I have oh, a new Lord. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm innocent, I tell you. <laughs> Should we show them? Yeah. 122, 121, 120. Hey, it was pretty spot on. 75%, 85% of that 3080, 40% of that 5800H. We have an eight core 16 thread Zen 3 chip running at four gigahertz. And it is CPU bottleneck in the graphics card. It's less than 100, 120 there. We're currently averaging 118. The 1% low is awful because of the response, because I'm in Team Rumble, oh, yeah. which is how I benchmark it. <laughs> Pay no attention to the new outfit. But I mean, the new outfit. <laughs> it's Catwoman. Oh, did you figure that part out by yourself? Oh, you mean the, the, the cat ears on her head? Oh, shush. Oh, I got shot again. I'm not very good at this game. Um, This is a 300 hurt or hertz panel. What's the point? I mean, I guess I could have done 1080p low. I could have done... What are you expecting? A lot more than 120 frames per second. I could have done 1080p low. I could have done 50% render resolution. But good God, this is a multi-thousand dollar laptop. It is. Um... I don't know about you guys, but... <laughs> Maybe Fortnite is just badly programmed. Perhaps it's just rendering water under the floor. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Not a new game. Came out several years ago. In fact, when did Battlefront 2 come out? Now I'm curious. I forget. 360 low. <laughs> that would be bad. 2017. 2017. Star Wars Battlefront 2. 2017. Came out in 2017. What's my computer doing? So if you had to guess, no. don't don't say it yet. No, I'm not saying nothing. Ian and everybody, everybody, type it in chat. 1080p, high detail. Ryzen 7 5800H, 8 core 16 thread Zen 3 at 4 gigahertz, plugged in, cool room, no power issues, running off the wall, and an RTX 3080 laptop chip. 2017, that game is now four years old? Yep. Four years old. Battlefront 2. What do you what do you guys think? 120 frames per second? It's a lot older than Fortnite. 140 frames per second? Do you think it can run at the 300 frames per second of the panel of this thing? Hey, Boom. I'm just seeing what people's replies are first. Ooh, people are a little, uh... 61 frames a second average. It's nearly using it's nearly using a hundred percent of the GPU. Forty percent, twenty-seven. I want to see what people's responses in chat are. Sixty frames a second. Whoa, people are like a little wow. Some people are way off. You didn't do Apex Legends, did you? Mm -mm. I think it can. This is 1080p high detail on a four-year-old game Yep. on a $2,000 laptop. This is awful. I know. Like, so when people like, I want to get a gaming laptop, how much money you got? What game can even run at 300? <laughs> Pi frames per second. Wow. I mean, it still looks nice. They are correct. It is power limited. There's only so much power that a laptop can cool. The CPU and GPU combined can only pull so much power. The yep. heat pipes inside, the fans inside can yep. only cool so much. That's true. And so 
until we get a new process node, until the production gets better, until the chips run cooler. Um, if let me put it this way, if you had gone out and spent two thousand dollars on a new high end Zen three eight core laptop with a thirty eighty in it and a three hundred hertz panel to play four year old games, and this is what you got. This is not ultra detail. This yeah. is high. I know. There you go. Would you not be a little annoyed? Yeah. Actually, I don't think the start menu of this runs that well. Um, now, Overwatch did play pretty well. Well, um, yeah, League of Legends and Overwatch. Yeah. So, yeah. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.